I was about 17 at the time. Hearing these stories about where my grandmother lived, about this guy they call the Smiling Man. I didn't think much of it. There's always stories that people go around, folklore. Supposedly this man died back in the 1800s. He was tortured and stabbed to death in an alley. Or what you would call an alley. So anyway, three years ago, we went to go visit my grandmother. Some of my friends from the old hood were still around and we all got together. So we decided to go by these little forest preserve by my grandmother's house. We sat there telling these ghost stories of the smiling man. Supposedly, once you see the smiling man, it's over. He waits till you're alone and vulnerable. It just so happened that as we was all there, the ten of us telling our stories. Of course, not me because I didn't have no stories to tell. I never witnessed any paranormal or nothing. But supposedly, the smiling man, he appears late at night. He's got this devilish grin on his face that doesn't move. His blood curling eyes. And this weird noise that follows him as he walks the streets looking for this next victim and it just so happened in her town kids were coming up missing everybody was saying it's the smiling man I don't believe that crap I thought to myself what is this there's some psycho out there they need to catch him So anyway, the night came and slowly, one by one, my friends were leaving. And then it was down to me and a dear old friend of mine named Shirley. But then she was like, she was getting tired and wanted to go home. So I walked her home. But unfortunately, she lived like a mile away from my mother's house. Grandmother, that is. So when I finally dropped her off, it the weirdest thing this wind started to pick up. And I got this feeling that something was watching me. So as I was picking up the speed because I got this weird chill inside. I started hearing this noise. This noise that was giving me the chills and freaking me out. I started hearing this faint laugh. 
What the hell is this? I turned around. And I couldn't believe my eyes. There was this weird psycho man. Pale. Eyes. Blood red. This grin on his face. Just made my heart drop in my stomach. And as I started to run, somehow or another, he kept up with me. I turned the corner, he'd be down the alley where I turned. I kept hearing him laughing, the sinister laugh, as he kept getting closer. I tried my best to run. I thought for sure it was it for me. I thought this was a joke at first. Someone playing tricks to found he caught up to me. And I took a swing at him and literally just went through his body. Somehow or another, he swung to grab me. One of his nails went into my shoulder. Blood started squirting out. I don't know how I got away, but right as I was a block away from my grandmother's, he jumped out inches from my throat. Somehow or another, I was able to turn around. I got to my grandmother's house with him footsteps behind. Closed the door and all I could hear was this man's laugh. I can't get it out of my head and that was years ago. I still hear it sometimes and outside my window now and I live thousands of miles away from my grandmother. I remember when I was about 17 years old. The school we went to, there was a girl there. I was kind of friends with, somewhat, maybe acquaintance, you could say. She always seemed troubled. Supposedly, she lived in this old house. It's like away from everybody. She was weird, but she would say things would go on in that house. Things that was troubling. But we all thought it was just for an attention or something or she needed help. So one day she finally invited me over. It just looked like an old house to me. Just old me work done to it. And I don't know. It's got this funny feeling when I stood in front of it. It's almost like the wind and just the way the night looked. Like it was saying something. I couldn't describe it. So we get inside. As we uh, went to her room, she keeps saying that at, at 10 01, the phone keeps going off. But there's no phone in the house. Everybody has a cell phone. So, I waited with her. She started telling me the story of this old man that keeps living, coming out of her closet, telling her that she's going to die. And it wants her soul. 
and then I nearly shit my pants and it was 10 or 1 I look at her what is that some phone she says every time you hear it it rings for a bit then stops and then this weird old man comes out of the closet I heard the door make a noise she showed me these bruises on her back I took off running I I know but I saw this pale greenish thing came out of the closet I ran as fast as I can and I feel so bad because the very next day they found the girl dead I was explaining to the police what I saw as they investigated the only thing they said was that she had a heart attack and I know that she didn't have a heart attack at all about a week later I heard the same damn ringing coming from my closet <laughs>